the situation in Japan, causing safety concerns right here in our state. Right now, engineers with the Palo Verde Nuclear Power Plant are briefing state regulators on what we've learned so far from the disaster in Japan. That's where Eric English is standing by right now. And Eric, uh, what's the consensus so far? Well, Steve, engineers and the top brass at the Palo Verde nuclear plant uh, spent the day assuring that the, uh, the regulatory board inside here and the public that their facility is safe. They say what we're seeing unfold in Japan simply could not play out here. Uh, this is a matter of environmental health, public safety. Members of the state's Corporation Commission peppered Palo Verde's operators with questions at today's public hearing to discuss safety and future planning for worst-case scenarios at the country's largest nuclear facility. This is a very significant event. It's very fair and appropriate to ask questions. It's our job to answer those questions, and that's exactly why we're here today. Operators assured commissioners that the country's largest power-making facility is secure and would not succumb to the circumstances that were seen in Japan. In the wake of the events in Japan, we're here to tell them about the differences the similarities and why Palo Verde is safe. They say the plant is built in an area with low seismic activity, has no tsunami threat or concern about external flooding, and says despite being built in the desert, it has an abundant water supply to cool reactors. Still, not everyone was convinced. Nuclear energy is inherently dangerous and risky, and we hope that we would instead be hearing more about transitioning to a safer, cleaner energy future. But plan operators insist Palo Verde is safe and can handle any number of scenarios that could happen. And the power it generates is providing electricity for millions of customers. That gives us the ability to provide reliable energy at the most economical price to our customers, which is what people want. And of course, very safely. Now, the meeting is in recess now, but is expected to start up again here shortly with more public questioning. I'm told that this could last well into the evening. We're live in Phoenix tonight. Eric English, ABC 15 News.